Hello YouTube, this is Sheila Beautiful Irvin coming to you with an update. Uh, I have actually been on a stall. Yes, a stall. Um, I call it a stall because it's lasted over two weeks. But finally, I broke the stall about two days ago. A friend of mine, Twisky Tees, she gave me some great advice um, because I was getting a little frustrated at first. I wasn't really thinking of what I need to incorporate in the diet. I already kind of figured I wasn't getting my proteins in uh, or enough water. But she pretty much reminded me of what I'm supposed to do because, I mean, I've got the paperwork here. You know, but reality set in and I kind of let it slip. You know what I'm saying? You don't realize all these things that you got to go through until, you know, it actually hits you personally. So she reminded me of a few things I need to do as far as trying to get my proteins in and drinking enough water. Um exercise which I was I'm already doing exercise I do it like three times a week but exercise without protein and water is just pretty much a waste of time I might not be losing I wasn't losing the pounds at first but I was still losing the inches which is still good and I had to finally realize also that the doctor did say that being in a stall was normal it's your body's way of adjusting to its new body. And, I, like I said, I finally broke the stall. And I was stuck at, I'd say, two, for two and a half weeks, I was stuck at 226. My um, highest weight was 252, day of surgery, 237.2. Um, and... Afterwards, I lost down to, two, to 226, which is a total from my highest weight of 28 pounds. I was stuck at 226 for two and a half weeks. Bummer. I, I, it's maybe two and a half weeks, maybe two, just two whole weeks, pretty much. I'm in my third week. So I'll say about two and a half weeks. Um, but, ironically... Today, I step on the scale after feeling miserable, thinking the world is going to end. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I got on the scale and I've lost 4.4 pounds, um, which brought me to 221.6 pounds. Isn't that amazing, guys? I feel so relieved. I didn't think I would ever come out of this stall or plateau and I feel a whole lot better my husband was like but you're losing weight I, I can see it in your face I can see it in your body but I couldn't just grasp the fact that my weight was stuck at 226 it's like really I mean I'm not eating anything I'm exercising I thought I was taking in enough water the doctor told me to do two proteins a day and try to eat three times a day, but my belly can't even try to even remotely get in two ounces. It's like, geez, when is the relief going to come? But and I've been eating crazy foods. It's like, this is not even, I don't think this is even on my diet, is it? You know? Well, when I was on the diet with the doctor ordered, it was like, I'm stuck. But once I kind of crept off of it a little bit, I think I um, I had steak from the grill. My husband uh, grilled, um, I forget what he called it, tenderloins or something on the grill. I think that's pretty good, though, because that's a protein. Um, we had broccoli and cheese. I can only eat so much of it, though. The doctor said it was okay because I can only get in so much anyway. Um, but it was a few other little things. 
which it wasn't that much, but I think that's what broke my stall. I didn't, I didn't stick to the diet. I don't know if they call that cheating or not. I'm not sure. I think that's part of what they call the cheating. I'm not sure, but I think that's what broke my stall. Yeah. And it's probably a little bit too much TMI, but trying to eliminate defecate or poop, whatever you want to call it, is not easy when you're sleeved or I guess for some bypass or whatever. But it takes me over a week or two, or nearly a week and a half to even pass a stool. And I think that is so crazy. It's like, oh, how do you get used to this? I'm thinking it's because of so much water we take in or fluids. We take in more fluids than we do meals. So that may be it. And I'm also witnessing ketosis. I think I said what they call it. Ketosis. Um, it's where you're taking in more proteins and very little carbs. So your body starts to go into ketosis, which is like um, you start getting metallic taste in your mouth or cotton mouth or, you know, bad breath. I don't know, but uh, I've never had bad breath. And I was like, I wake up in the morning I'm like, ooh. You know, I instantly run and brush my teeth. Um, I did a little Listerine strips. Um, I don't do gum. I used to could chew gum every day. No. I can chew it for two minutes. And it's like, oh, uh, uh, I'll do and throw it away. But yeah, um, that's not been a good thing. It's not really bad, but it's not something I'm used to. And I can't wait till it's over. Um, other than that, I just want to report the fact that I was in a stall. And me being in that stall was not 